All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Free Run, episode, episode 10. 10. All right, we've the got guillotine. the demons uh, dead. Yeah, they've been guillotined, mm -hmm. and now the guillotine is about to be guillotined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aura. Mm -hmm. um, the fight is continuing, right. although while it feels like it's one where Freerun does have to be careful about how much magic she expends, mm -hmm. it's kind of something where we don't know what the progress of the fight is in that regard. Yep. So it'll be fun to see if the reinforcements she could end up getting from uh, Fern and Stark could tip the balance in her favor or, or end up leading to a place where they end up getting taken control of mm -hmm. by the thing. Yeah, it, it complicates it because then yeah. it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. They're here. I, I would love Freerun to drop the, you know, I could, you know, finagle within the bounds of this whole system here. Or I could just overwhelm you with one spell and yeah, just I, kill you instantly. You given know? how this arc started and everything and how this was very much set up as the, no, free run will beat this person because, of course, mm -hmm. I am kind of looking for the rule of cool, funky way in which we get to learn more about free run's capabilities in the way that she just totally disposes of Aura. Yeah. 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 But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Backstory? Yeah. It's no longer nighttime. Flam? Flam? Maybe. Flam mm, and Freerun? Yeah. Yes, yes. Awesome. Basalt. Mm. Oh. Whoa. Mm. Of the creatures I call demons. Whoa. Did she start it? She could have. Ooh, okay. Whoa. So, if you're ever fighting a demon, here's the way to beat them. I really feel like this story was someone that really made by someone that really liked D&D &D and also mm. really liked Violet Evergarden's exploration of wanting to understand that one I love you. Yeah. And is yeah. like, what uh -huh. if I just fucking mix them all together? together. <laughs> yeah. A powerful mage. Ah. Mm. <laughs> God, I want to make some vampire villains in my D&D &D campaigns now. Like, yeah. like, a, g a good classic vampire mm. just works so well. It really does. Oda counters her in that regard. Mm. Previously mm. on Freerun. Oh, you think okay. she was being protected by them. Ah, natural kind of immortality versus immortality kind of right. thing. <laughs> no, you. Oh, oh, hmm. oh, oh! Yeah, trick her. You don't know Freyrin like I do. She never directly engages anybody. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. What's wrong? Like what? What? Other than the fact that I'm dying. Oh. But she totally kicked my ass. Yeah, is, have I over, you know, right. has something missed my gaze? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe she's just more efficient? Yeah, you can ponder that as you die, you know. <laughs> sure, get gas, yeah. scrub. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Jesus. I love it. Oh. So is this some oh, kind of like. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Attacked by demons. Is this where she found Freerun, maybe? But he's dead. Mm hmm. So did Freerun kill him even as a, like, a kid? Uh huh. So she was already a mage. Yeah. Ah, nice. Hmm. Again, that engagement right. directly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Strong mages. Like she's saying that she's not. I mean, that's the thing, though. Oh, we're going... We're going in that direction. Huh, okay. You you just constantly let your Ryatsu leak out like right, a right, fucking right. normie. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You don't stockpile You don't that stockpile shit. and save it? Uh, and that's... That's how her lazy streak started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You protected yourself, though. No. Yeah, yeah. I okay. claim you. Yep. The extrovert, fiery yep. force mm -hmm. comes in and claims you. Yep. Wait. Whoa. Because she used too much mana or something? Yeah, we're going to get some magical mechanics in this episode. I think so. Oh, oh, that's why she would have died. Right, you kill the general, people come looking to be like, how the fuck did that happen? We're going to see what it means to engage someone indirectly then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet... Okay. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, but they, they didn't... Because then they're like, all right, let's engage directly. Right, which is dumb, basically. Ah, they... okay. Yeah, and then she does. Yeah, because this will give her the chance to fight them indirectly. Stupidly proud. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary mage. But I love that... We don't even get no, to see it. No big explosion or like, you know, like, okay, yeah, there's a crater, but just, just a wind, a gust of wind. They could have attacked from hiding. They, yeah, they could have not revealed themselves. Yeah, yeah, okay. cause we're going, yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Perfect. Nice. No, but that makes total sense, yeah. Oh, I'm here for this backstory. Oh. Cute little one on its back, too. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. We'll start there, mm -hmm. which means we're eventually going to hit, yeah, like do more than that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But make you always seem to be that strong, yeah, always, mm -hmm. yep. That's why you practice. <sighs> yep. <laughs> so the fact are. that she that she told Dra, yeah, I'm stronger than your boss. That was the real BMing because mm -hmm. it's saying you're gonna die, so I'm gonna tell you my secret beforehand. Yep. Yeah, keep. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good strat.
Right, I love the idea that she can only use it because it's going to spend a lot of mana just to use the spell, and mm -hmm. then you calculate, you know... Well, and on top of the general risk as an right. immortal, you can't ever have this fail. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, but that's... But we're not dealing in fairness here. Well, and that's still... Uh, you're a pipsqueak still, age-wise, compared to me. They can't. Oh, I love the idea huh. that that's being set up as a thing that they can't do. Because mm -hmm. there's no reason so far that's been exposited as to why they can't do that. Right. So we could end up meeting a demon at some point later that could do that. Hmm. But the idea of maybe there being some reason... Yeah. Yes, okay, cool, cool, yeah. But why? Okay. Connections. Okay. Ah, and if it's a hierarchy based on capability. But yeah, then how but did the demon demon's power? But then how did the demon king come about then? Because they were just the most powerful. Probably. But that's determined by things that fluctuate constantly. So, right, right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, so if they let their mana be hidden... Right, That that's kind of... Like, it might have some effectiveness with humans, but with demons, uh -huh. why? Well, I could come up with a reason already that why they would do it, but sure. I'll, I'll save it for the discussion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, okay. All right. But you could do it. You could do it to make people be unsure of when they should challenge you because they know you're stronger, but they're currently hiding it. Sure. See, this feels like a wealthy kind of people desperate to show off their wealth. Right, but it's like the the really wealthy the people. The really wealthy. Like like the stupid wealthy. Yeah, yeah. They hide it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're going to get this subverted at some point. This is... Mm -hmm. Although maybe that's... Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I mean, I do love that being an innate thing that's not... Yeah able to be controlled well and especially since demons their nature is fairly like constant hmm. you know yeah um she's doing a pretty good job so far whoa okay when she's really meditating she can make it even less whoa and now we can see you're getting older yeah. it's been decades yeah Oh. Yes, you answered confidently. Only 50 years ago. Oh. You lost your love for magic by me. Oh. Oh. So it's not just that he complimented a random spell. Yep. He complimented that spell. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh. Yeah, now she's like, mm -hmm. I, I want to know that. Yeah. What, what's that's, the spell really that makes cool. you love magic? That's mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is where the fascination with spells that have nothing to do with combat come in. Oh. Okay. Until then. Wow. Yeah. And so here's right. the field of flowers, yeah. And this entire time, she's training to defeat the Demon King. I mean, yeah, she's keeping herself in obscurity. Like, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, and that would add to the legend so yeah. much because it's, oh, long-lived, but, like, yeah, they haven't done much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Started off not like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, you guys will do. Whoa. And just and like just, a blink, all that. Yeah. Oh, I gotta see those that individual was, frames. That was fantastic. Gotta see those frames. All right, I'm casting it. <laughs> and yeah, it's just. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to go onto the scale itself. Because <laughs> I was going to make a joke of like, oh, yeah, and then suddenly. Well, then they are, they are going to probably go to it. Oh. That's cool. Mm -hmm. She's been building up to defeat her. Right. In the same way that Freerun was building yeah. up to defeat the Demon King. Right, and she probably thinks that, like, ah, you used some weird trick to defeat the Demon King with your party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here they go. <laughs> Looking at the camera as she says it. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you stupid, mm. overconfident, proud. Now I can finally defeat you. Okay, so this... She's like, well, you couldn't have suppressed it that much. Right, right. Yeah. Cool, you suppressed it a little bit. And I love I love this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, she's aware of what it usually comes with. And sure. Oh, huh. Hmm, nice. So she did count on suppression. And she's yeah. like, no, you would have some signs. Now, the thing is, I've been suppressing my mana since before you were born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> since, since you were wearing diapers. Yeah. Eh, for situations like this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I yeah. almost feel bad for Aura. Yeah. I almost feel bad. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Deceive them with your mana. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Nice. Beautiful. And there it is. Oh! <laughs> Oh, in the hair already, like, starting to... Oh, shit. And then oh. Free Ren turns around and she's like, no, 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 in Minecraft, in Minecraft. Oh, my gosh. That's exactly what I wanted. I, yeah. I, that, that's basically, yeah. 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 And yeah. it was even better because we got so much flam. All right. Okay. Another banger episode. Yep. Using the flashback to kind of extend the 
contest to the fight because we knew ultimately still that it's the contest was arbitrary. Yep. Uh -huh. Freeran, it doesn't matter the exact numbers of whether she has 10 times the mana or 100 times the mana. Exactly. It's all going to be a spectacle. It's going to be a glorious, just mm -hmm. absolute destruction of Aura. But I did like that the way that they built it up was that Freeran has been working with Flam, mm -hmm. but Flam's teachings were something that she held on to for the rest of her life, even though right. Flam passed away mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Yeah. So, wonderful. This was a done deal. Mm -hmm. it, it, it never really was in question. Nope. We had multiple times before seen Freeran kind of talk about the importance of keeping your mana suppressed, that she right. taught Fern how to do that, mm -hmm. and thus we now see the exact reasons why. Demons never hide their mana. In fact, they're so almost... Uh, you ever get that feeling in a video game, mm -hmm. like Elden Ring, for instance, yeah. where you're so powerful that you kind of want to play badly mm -hmm. so that you end up like kind of having something that gets you like, ooh, that was a little bit of a fun contest. Right, right. Even though you could you could stack everything up and hyper-optimize till you just one-shot something. Yeah, no. I, but you yeah. play with a worse spell because it looks cooler or something. Mm -hmm. No, I, yeah, I get that. I feel that. like that's the energy that demons have is that they want people to recognize, I put in hard work here, mm -hmm. so you should see my fucking awesome well, magic. You because know? especially, well, and and even though this wasn't what was said, I, I would not be surprised at all if this was another aspect to it. Mm -hmm. In a society of demons where it's, you know, dog eat dog, mm -hmm. right? Being able to demonstrate and have everybody know how powerful you are does have cases in which it would be helpful because right. then a lot of demons will stop fucking with you. Yeah. And then, you know... They'll just because fall in line. It's, it's fall corporate line. ladder empire building. Right. <laughs> well, but on top of that, because you theoretically could still get beaten by somebody who's weaker than you mm -hmm. if they take you by surprise or something, right. it's the, hey, you know, don't... Met, like, you know, if you had your magic concealed, you could theoretically get taken out. Yeah. Whereas for, like, a human or an elf, where they're in a situation where they are much less likely to need to defend themselves yes. and certainly at their full capacity right. they can do that and be more or less okay right because you know they're not in a society of demons no. where you know there might be might makes right and yeah yeah that, rivals yeah. looking to tear them limb from limb to get yeah. their stuff so yeah awesome yeah Love wonderful it. And then it also builds up the terror that the demon king was for this world mm -hmm. because the demons found order right. there was someone that corralled all these posturing, egotistical, mm -hmm. hardworking, dedicated, craft-wielding uh, yeah. magic mm -hmm. users who all specialized in their own specific things, probably building their own little factions, and was oh, like, yeah. no, you follow my banner. And probably You're because under my the power. Demon King was just that powerful. Now, to the I, I want to posit mm -hmm. another thing here, though. Yeah. I say there is nothing in what Flam exposited that said that demons actually cannot hide their yeah, magic. Yeah, no, it's just... It's that they're, it would they're, be they're, stupid to them. Right. But that means, in mm -hmm. my opinion, if you wanted to stand out as a demon, you would be so strong that nobody would be able to know how you were that strong. Okay. If you had mana that was just constantly radiating out, anybody with a scale tipping thing could go okay so they're weakest on tuesdays on tuesday nights at 5 p.m specifically their mana goes down to its lowest because they do this thing there you basically have a constant radar telling you how and how strong and how weak they are at any mm -hmm. given moment in time but if you every once in a while see them flare up to godlike levels and right. then go back down and you're like wait what 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 the fuck? Yeah yeah right. And if you it don't would build a... this legend of this mm -hmm. demon that would be so strong, but you wouldn't know see how strong. See that's that's where you went with it, which is that's that is also a great point. Where I was thinking that mm -hmm. you were going to go was the a demon realizes, okay, but those humans do funky shit sometimes. Yeah, and if they were to develop a champion, it would take out the demon king. So maybe I don't actually want to be. I, maybe I want to be like number three, and maybe this is what the mm -hmm. character in the OP is. Is yeah. that they're like, I'll be strong enough so that I won't have to, you know, deal with much, right? Right. right. And then, and then I'll just be okay with, uh, you know, being subservient to somebody who's weaker than me. And I just, do. I do like that know. for the 
current story, uh-huh. the idea that they have an antagonist that's not the Demon King, because the Demon King was killed. Right. Or it's a twist reveal that, oh, you thought that the one that was exuding the most mana was the Demon King? No, that's just some person that we had that was really strong, and then we've learned that it's actually better once we are at the upper at the upper echelons to actually hide our mana and have our like, second in command to be the one that's the, right, the, the right. face of things. Yeah, yeah. Now that that personally doesn't make sense for me until the demons start losing. That sounds like sure. a thing where the demons are getting wiped out by right. this adventuring party yeah. that's coming in. There's this Freerin the Slayer coming uh-huh. in. Marking demons yeah. directly, no mm. contest. Yep. Bam, 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 bam. Just driving a wedge through their empire and forces right. and stuff. Then they, then they have some kind of like, okay, we gotta learn to suppress our man. <laughs> like, right, because and and that was the other thing that was that was uh, crazy for me is that Flam was saying, hey, you can you can get stronger than I can. You can get strong enough to defeat the Demon King. Mm-hmm. Freerun didn't defeat the Demon King for a thousand years. Oh, well, I mean, okay, well, well, yes, but... Or maybe 900, but, but you know, it depends on, on how when Flam how, lived. Right, and, you know, and when but, Flam was, yeah. yeah. But, but we know Flam was a thousand years ago, so, so, you know, there's that. And then the Demon King was existed all the way back then, mm-hmm. right? So... Yeah, the, the Demon King could be really old. The Demon King was at, at that kind of legendary status, and they're gone now, so that also makes sense why there would be such a, like chaotic power vacuum within the demons mm-hmm. that are left. Right. And yeah, Aura can be like, yeah, no, I'm five hundred years old. I'm I I'm I'm half the age of the Demon King. Like I am comparable even if only a fraction, right? If like, the Demon King is a thousand. Yeah. The Demon King could be five thousand for all we know. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In a similar fashion that I I, th- I thought it was kind of funny that like, you know, uh Freeran's like I'm, you know, a thousand over a thousand years old or whatever. It's like, oh, okay. So that could be her not saying much, or it could be the no, she actually wasn't that old when Flam found her or something. Right. I, I, I also don't think we've got the clearest timelines as to when Flam found her. I, I, I'll have to well, go back and check just the idea. But. Just the idea that she was a human, and granted, even if she's like a wizard and lives a bit longer, the fifty-year thing was like that was a significant portion of her life. Um, oh well, yes, yes, but that no. says nothing about when Freerin was there with her in that regard well but but we know that flam was a thousand years ago that's that's when was that exposited that like back when they were originally talking about flam and stuff like when before i think before we knew that that free run was her apprentice i'll have to go back and check but i feel like we've been a bit vague in our and it's probably because it's just the way people talk Mm -hmm. but people don't say a thousand and seven years ago. They yeah, say yeah. around a thousand years ago. Right, they, so it could be 1,200 years and, ago and also it could Freer, be 800 years right, ago. Right, and then yeah. also Freerin saying, I've been a mage for a thousand years. Well, that means then, in a lot of ways, mm-hmm. she was a mage that killed a demon general. So at the very least... Yeah, she was right, a mage exactly. before Flam. Right, so she was an accomplished mage in her own right, even though... A very strong yeah, yeah. accomplished uh-huh. mage. So yep. I, I don't think that Flam necessarily has to have lined up and been born the exact time Freerun was born. Yeah. But well, but yes. Because it's, again, it's the whole thing of when you're dealing with, you know, double digits of centuries, plus or minus one or two isn't going to, you know, right, that's right. not going to change right. much. But that's why that's why I think it's it's not important to get into the details of, of oh, Flam came in here a thousand years ago and Freerun, you know. I well, guess. no, yeah, I'm just using that as a, even if it's not exactly accurate, right? Mm-hmm. Plus or minus, you know, a couple hundred, yeah. right? The fact that the Demon King was mentioned yes. in that same kind of general right. bandwidth, right? Yeah. That it, it's not something where it's like, oh, the Demon King was like a last couple hundred years thing, right? right. Like, it was all the way back then during yeah. the time of the legendary mage flam that nobody even remembers. And also, know? also just a cool thing here, the mm-hmm. Demon King, the Maho, uh, uh, whatever the Japanese specific mm-hmm. word is, like Maho something, um, that's uh, a title that never changed. So therefore, right. we can exposit or we can interpret from the exposition that the Demon King also didn't change over the course of that time as well. Uh, right, like they probably they would have had then the second Demon King or the Demon yeah, King uh-huh. or the third Demon King. You know, right. so yep. so I think we can likely interpret a couple things here. One is that uh, the Demon King is exceptionally old, um, mm-hmm. exceptionally powerful, but the idea that the Demon King was so known by the world in general that I mean maybe that kind of go against goes against the theory of the Demon King being like 
actually alive by some kind of trickery of like oh, yeah, making I people pretend that like oh that's actually the demon king. Yeah, I don't think that the demon king's going to be alive because that would undercut the the group of adventurers, right? You know, or like right. that would undercut the original journey. Mm -hmm. But that it's going to be some other thing where it's the okay, yeah, but you know there you know uh someone will take the place, right? You know, or will attempt to or whatever, right? Right. And I think that we've been given this exposition so that we found the reasons why it would be subverted in the future here. And I think it's going to be because there was a demon that decided to uh, suppress their mana. Yeah. And because the reason why is very obvious. You have someone out there that's wiping out demons. Mm -hmm. Well, then just play dead. Right. Find, you know... And we did have demonstrated in the backstory, even though Flam said they can't suppress their mana, it's, well, no, they can, but they just do it in a binary fashion where it's the, we want to be invisible so that then we can take somebody by surprise like when they were going after Free Run, right? Well, and, right. Then, and then they stopped and then it's, you know, okay, they're not suppressing their mana at all, right? right? And, and this, could, this could be just a, a again, a, a limit of the way that Flam interprets it or mm -hmm. the way in which the... Uh, translation is being derived here but can't is very different than won't it, it's won't yeah, and right. so the fact that Flam kind of called it that I'm calling that exposition into question for the sake of what's probably going to be mm -hmm. a cool twist at some point in the future the, the one way I could see yeah. it potentially working as a can't mm -hmm. is the uh, if they work it into the whole thing that we went into mm -hmm. of oh can demons actually like are they always tricking people could you actually mm. have a demon that understands emotion and things like that right and it was very much established that like no no, no it might seem like they can but they but actually mimicking. but they actually can't they're mimicking it's part of their nature sure. so in the in the sense that that aspect of their nature is static sure you could say that this aspect of their nature is also static mm -hmm. that like that's not something that's just going to adjust right? right that and then we're gonna get the hybrid demon it's not just pure demon <laughs> yes yes that's that's uh that's going to be the the way that they uh find mm -hmm. a way with this because that that uh, person mm -hmm. in the opening does not seem like a backstory character oh no that seems like a no. present present current this character. is this is the current head honcho of the demons they don't seem very imposing as well one of the things that mm -hmm. i've been waiting for them to get into is that if they have any kind of main antagonist before like it, it even remotely hinted at in this season because they're still going on right. their journey it might be a mm -hmm. while before they even hear of this character sure is that why do they appear so physically frail mm -hmm. so small so young and why do they have an emotive expression on their face yeah right and like, the emotive expression that i saw was of uh kind of a cunning like cunning cocky and condescension right yeah, yeah but it's not the kind of cocky of like yeah, it's not it's, boisterous it's, it's and Gaston. It's like, oh, I, I oh, this tricked is, you. This, this is fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Uh -huh, right. And so with this mana um, kind of world building stuff being delved into here, I think that's the way it's going to be used, mm -hmm. personally. Yep. What, well, what and, method exactly, we'll, we'll see. And that would make sense then for the way that they would be the one that would be the leader, but also maybe even why some of the demons would follow them. Because if they can demonstrate that like, hey, the might makes right thing that worked for you a know, while. Uh, over a thousand years with the old Demon King, but, but that don't work we anymore. we need to rebuild. So yeah. for now, I'm teaching everybody to <laughs> figure out. How we're to we're doing the rule of two now. You know, right? Like right. no more. You know, big armies and stuff. That also that also could be kind of interesting. The idea that Aurak might have even hinted at that here of saying, "No, I checked to see if you were suppressing your mana, mm -hmm. and there was no instability or leaks or anything of that nature, right. showing that." Probably, mm -hmm. probably, if demons even try to do oh, it, oh sure, the, the they can't do it that tell, well, right? So the actual like means of knowing how to do it is so antithetical to the generations right. of demons because they don't teach each other stuff. Mm -hmm. They're individualists, so yeah. they would focus on their own thing. So even if they knew that humans and elves and everybody can do that, they're like. Yeah, that's cool. But we we figured that shit out. We figured that shit out. We know that if you're suppressing, you're only suppress you're only able to suppress between like 20 and 70% and based on that, you know, we're we're in additive numbers. You're not you're not suppressing, you know, yeah. some crazy hundredth or, of, you know, what right, your right. current potential is. So, we just know, okay, based on that, yeah, I still mm -hmm. beat you. Yeah. Or if we just watch you for a long enough time and oh, hey, we're demons, we can be patient, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you maybe you keep that up for you know, a couple days, but like, oh, nah. 
Wait, that's why she was sending these soldiers at her too, because the soldiers make her have to cast mana. Mm, and sure. then when she does that, she kind of right, has the, to yeah. let some of that instability come out. Well, well, and that's one of the things that I was going to say, like <laughs> makes what Freerun is doing even more impressive. Even more impressive. Because right. she's suppressing her mana and using it yes. in an inefficient way in front of the person who's <laughs> watching her mana. Right. So not only does she have to keep it suppressed, she has to make sure that like she's let like she's only using the the part that isn't suppressed so that that can also be reduced in a way that is, you know, that matches up with what she's doing, yeah. right? Like cuz otherwise she'd be like, "Ah, yes. Wait, why aren't why isn't your mana getting any weaker when you're doing all of these expensive things?" It probably you know, was though. That's Right, that's, it probably was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, so damn. Okay. That was but great. uh yeah, Flam's character is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um she also suffered at the hands of demons. She also had some fun exposition about the the creatures I call demons. Yeah. Which now, like, now the Demon King existed back then, mm -hmm. so there's did, a. Did she title him the Demon King? Well, no, 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 because she's know? not that. She's not that old at that point. Flam's a human. No, no, right, but like the name demons existed before her. Well, by the nature of there being a Demon King. Well, the um, not necessarily, probably, okay. but but what I was going to say is the potential way that it might not be is that if it's the the creatures I call demons, if she was a legendary mage back then, uh -huh. you know? And she's like, oh, these are creatures, I'm gonna call them demons, right? Mm -hmm. And here's sort of how they work because I've interacted with them a fair bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a, a giga demon that's the leader. Yeah. Uh, we'll call that the demon king, right? right? And then, you know, you know, time goes on, all of that stuff, whatever, right? That would also be one of the reasons potentially that she could speak so confidently about mm. the demons because she's maybe the leading expert on them, right? Maybe. The only identifying Consec like c consistent feature of demons is the horns. Mm -hmm. um, they're very different sizes. They're very different yep. like, looks in general. But they all have the horns. Uh, they all have um, the very specific kind of nature kind of related right. things to who they are. But the thing that I want to show here that I found to be kind of interesting. Oh, no this, horns on this, this one. This person on the throne here... No horns. And they have elf looking ears. And they have elf ears. Yeah. But they also oh, do you see the yeah. circlets yeah, around they, their Yeah, ankles so maybe they were a, they were a prisoner. Well no. or oh restraints for their like like limiters or something. No, if you look at Flam, she has the same kind of um Oh. The same kind of wristlet um okay. anklet. Yeah, like uh, cuffs guard. and stuff. Mm hmm It could be just you know, a look specifically. Sure. But it's the kind of thing that makes me go, uh, I don't think this is a demon at all, mm -hmm. but why would they then be in a throne or on a throne? Sure. Yeah, if it was something where it's like, oh, this is an elf that was, say, you know, taken prisoner alongside Flam or something and Flam got out or, you know, I don't know, and this elf was still there and then this elf basically becomes like a favorite pet of one of the demons, you know, maybe even the demon king or something like that over the course of time gets way stronger as well and then, oh, hey, the demon king's gone. Yeah, sure, I've kind of I've kind of grown attached, you know, and so now I'll, yeah, I don't know. I also have a very interesting pendant, but it's now making me think. Yeah, like, they, yeah they might not actually be a demon. No, I think they're definitely not a demon. It's just that, okay, if they aren't, then what's the... Oh, hang on. Yeah. Are demons... Demons are able to change their appearance, right? Mm, Maybe not. I, I don't know. I thought that, I thought that there was we something where, where when, the, uh, when the demon girl was brought in, and it's like, oh no, but, you know, but she's scared and all that stuff. That maybe that one didn't have horns no, or something? No, no, they, they all had horns. Yeah, okay. Because the one, the one, since demons uh, like to deceive, right? Mm -hmm. Like to trick and stuff. That's one way that I could see it being something like that is the, it's the, no, yeah, I've, but, I've been able to avoid detection as a yeah. demon by avoiding the people that are good at hunting demons yeah, and just I, making myself look, I, I, you know, it, like it, an elf. Obviously magic can probably do anything, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not interested in the way that kind of conversation the edge kind of case goes. scenarios with that yeah. go it's yeah right in terms of general knowledge about demons the thing that i have as questions is why is it that demons aren't actually a real creature meaning mm -hmm. like they're a classification of a type of monster they're right they're, they're monsters capable it feels of it feels speech. kind of xenophobic in a lot of ways oh yeah for one i feel like that exposition is going to get delved into with multiple kind of 
um, extra perspective on it. The mm -hmm. other thing is the idea of their personality being one that is innately evil, which also feels a little bit kind of short-sighted in some way. But, right. but based on what we've seen thus far, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty much the case. And then the third thing is basically this magic focus specifically feels like it, it feels like something where it's being set up to give us the bounds in which a playground and a rule system will end up getting experimented and messed with by the by the creator. Right. So yeah, I could absolutely see that being the case. So yeah, because it, yeah. well, and especially with an encounter like this for Freerun, mm -hmm. um, we spent a decent amount of time on this fight between the two of them. Yeah. More than either of us were probably mm -hmm. expecting. As a result of doing things in this way, it now hammers in even more that no. Even if the demons are confident that they're going to win, even if yada, 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 no, Freerun's going to win. And so then the only way then to really like make a make a threat that would feel satisfying and believable mm -hmm. um, or the easiest way would be to not have it be something where it's a level of like direct power, but a level of scheming and conniving and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, something that doesn't fight fair. Yeah, you know, you don't face Superman head on, right? right. And in this case, Freerun is Superman. Yeah. Like that—that was—that was proven, you know, categorically here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like that Freerun's one moment of kind of surprise here was the wait. Demons are capable of observing mana that precisely. Like I didn't know that. Yeah. Which, I think, means there's a there's a reason for that. And I again, I think that has something uh, to do. Yeah, with Yeah, she the, was taught why by Flam and all that stuff, but she doesn't know this fact. No, it's the idea that. Demons are constantly growing and adding and evolving and bringing ah, about things. Why sure. would a demon need to be good at observing mana that precisely? You just oh. know, oh, they have 100 and I have 200. That's more. You wouldn't need to know whether they have 101 or 102. Well, I, no, but I think the reason for that is the just in case any humans try and do that trick. No, I know. You know I know. But, the, but my point with that mm. is that generally, I would say, demons are just stronger than humans. Sure. That's the point that they've made thus far. There yeah. are no humans or elves with strong magic in that regard. Freerun is the hyper anomaly. Right. Like hyper hyper and, anomaly. And we now can see some of the reasons why. Right, yeah. but if demons are primarily interacting then with other demons who are on their, the only people that are on their level strength-wise are demons, they mm -hmm. wouldn't need to know the precise amount of their mana they have which maybe I'm just all now just hyper focusing in on this theory, but uh -huh. I think that this could add more evidence to that uh, theory because then this could be subtle exposition. The the one the one reason I would say that demons might be have a motivation for that with regards to humans and elves and stuff mm -hmm. is because since they live forever, you gotta you're you're only dealing with edge case scenarios, right? Really? Yeah, no, because they, they... no, because no, by and large. Uh, yeah, there's when they're dealing with demons. Sure, other demons. Yeah, right. But yeah. then, but then it's, but then it's, um, because the hierarchy is straightforward. It's the, oh, okay, I'm subservient to you. You're more, you're stronger. Versus, no, I'm stronger than you. You're subservient to me. I mean, I... And then, if they're dealing with humans and elves and things like that, it's the, like the suppressing your mana for demons is for like a sting or something like that. That feels like a strategy that plenty of people would have tried before. It's just the, how well does it actually work? And so then, you know, demons would get comfortable with like making sure that they're that they're going after prey that's actually their size you again know? this is that's cool stuff here but in this episode we literally had the personality of demons being explained as dumb overconfident people that just show themselves when they're about to do their magical stuff and what have you in this very episode aura mm. specifically showed caution by attacking all these angles to mm -hmm. gauge freeran's mana and then only after all that at the end, she's like, I didn't really need to be so cautious. Showing that demons have changed categorically in the way that they approach this whole thing I, from that time. Okay, I, the, um, because, because I, I considered that to be like the demons were being cautious in the situation of, of with Flam because, but it's just not cautious enough, right? They were they were doing the thing of, yeah, we're going to conceal our presence entirely and then we're gonna go up and sneak attack you and you're gonna be dead. Mm -hmm. But then once they, but they're, but they're cocky and overconfident because it's the, well, yeah, but we are stronger than you and, and they, there's no, like, it's a full assumption. There's no second guessing right. on that fact. And, and, you know, there's no caution once you get to yes, that Yes, I, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. And while Freerun should be really strong according to the she was a part of the party that helped kill the demon mm -hmm. king. We had 
uh, f- uh, Flug, uh, Lugner, Lugner mm. specifically, specifically say Freerin was being protected right. by them, showing that the demons have believed all the way up mm-hmm. until this very moment with right. Aura, that Freerun was not the strongest member of the party, right. that she was actively just engaging with them directly because she had a front line that could keep her blasting exactly. her spells. Well, and because so, of course they would. So, okay. Right, right. So yeah. the idea then that Aura, mm-hmm. who then thinks, oh, I've got her by herself, yeah. doesn't show that exact same level of cocky confidence, I think means that demons learned something and different and changed the sure. way that they approach I mean, things with fights with mages over the course of time. I, here. I, I could see that. I, I think it also even just, if it's not a lot. It's still, I think it also just kind of makes sense because, like, as far as the, um, you know, ah, Freyrin was just being protected by her party. That feels very natural to me because it's the the demon king has been around for minimum a thousand years, right? Then it's the they they shouldn't have been able to beat him. Like how 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 would that even work? Ah, right. okay. So yeah, if this mage was the one who actually like did the killing blow, clearly well, I mean, there it was, was some, all four of them. No, no, you know? no, right. But yeah, but if the, if it's the ah yeah, your party was just protecting you. It's the clearly there was some there was some bullshit to make you know sure. the, the tricks that weak humans use. You know yada yada. But then for Aura, it's the yes, but you you were still in the party that defeated the demon king, my superior, the person who's you know probably way stronger than me. So I'm. You know, yeah, I've got you dead to rights, but like, I'm still gonna do the, do the little poking, making sure before I actually toss you right. In the oven. And, and I think that makes her competent. Okay. But I think that the way that they didn't learn that all that time that Freerin was suppressing her mana mm-hmm. means then that, and in my opinion, they think this is this is what I mm-hmm. just believe in general that Freerin is a hack, not even right. really even that strong. Mm-hmm. The mana has been consistent all the way across. Yep. It's that, oh, there was a really powerful set of three other heroes mm-hmm. that made it all together them enough there. So right. Aura being competent enough to test, I think, makes sense. Mm-hmm. But the idea that she didn't just, with her precise mana, you know, mm-hmm. able to detect, just didn't immediately do the thing, is one, because of meta reasons, it's not as cool. Sure. Two... In the world exposition, as we've described here, I think because demons are, that she's actively acting different than the demons of of the past. Okay. And now that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. That was a long time ago, so demons should, you know, evolve a little bit. But yeah. I, I think there's, I think there's something to that. Okay. Yeah. But well, we'll get to see that, and that's one of the things that's going to help keep this whole new like adventuring party journey interesting, mm-hmm. because, you know. The Demon King was defeated by Freerun a while ago, and we're doing another journey, but it's probably not going to be against somebody that is not as powerful as the previous Demon King. Right. And then, and, like, you know, how do you still keep it exciting when yeah. it might feel like it's the, oh, it's well, just, you Well, know. that's, and yeah, and that's why the story is not about who's the strongest exactly. mage and it's stuff. It's about it's the about, actual journey itself, well, the it's characters, about the emo- and... The emotions. Yeah. The mm-hmm. emotions of Freerun yep. having lost everything, but wanting to find out, basically, why, like the OP says, like, why those tears came about, what... Mm-hmm. What is love? What is the what is the family that I had, and w- w- can I have that again? And do I even? Uh, yeah, all the all the emotions surrounding yep. that. Yeah. Last thing I want to say about the episode. I know I mentioned it in the reaction, but I really love the detail of as Aura is taking the sword to her neck to like you know cut off her own head. Mm-hmm. The bits of hair that like get cut along the way and just fall. It's like that's, oh, that's just a, a short. That's a that's sharp a blade. sharp blade. Like yeah. like that, that's just a great way to like make it seem all the scarier and more terrifying right but, and yeah. also just that's cold for your end. oh yeah you don't even stay behind to like you know uh yeah cool the, cool mages don't look at explosions right you know she yeah. just walked away yeah it's over. she didn't even do something of like all right so you're you're my bitch now so what's the deal like who's who's the new head honcho you know like no no, no attempt at getting information yeah. or yeah. anything it's just nah kill yourself yeah in minecraft yeah <laughs> Yep. <laughs> but oh my god, y'all. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.